In this module, we'll explain the benefits of our new computer-based training programs and how they can help you improve your training efficiency, effectiveness, and impact. Would you like to see a few examples of some of the many different health and safety programs we offer our clients? We've assembled a short preview just for you. Seat belts are required on all forklifts manufactured since 1992 and can be retrofitted on all older models. You are required to use a seat belt when it is supplied with the forklift. It will save your life. All alarms are considered real alarms and employees should respond to them accordingly. Move quickly to the nearest exit and meet in your building's assembly area. If you have the time and it's safe to do so, secure your work and shut off critical equipment before leaving the building. The circle of safety is a procedure all drivers must follow to ensure the area around their vehicle is safe before departing a job site. Start by collecting your orange safety cone, then walk around your vehicle to check all clearances and ensure that nothing has entered your path of travel, including pedestrians. Always make the circle of safety a part of your daily safety practice, just like wearing your seatbelt. For your safety, evacuation maps are posted throughout our facility. These maps show the routes out of the building in the case of an emergency, as well as the evacuation meeting areas. You should take time to familiarize yourself with these maps and all of the exit routes out of the building. If you have any questions about this, please see your supervisor. Safety data sheets, sometimes known as SDS, are vital documents in hazard communication that provide comprehensive information about potential dangers and hazardous chemicals. Safety data sheets outline the properties of each chemical, the physical risks, potential health hazards, precautions, first aid measures, and emergency procedures. Laboratory coats are provided to protect you and your clothing and should be worn when actively working with hazardous materials. Lab coats must be closed, in other words, buttoned up, when working in the lab and sleeves should be tucked into the top of gloves. Lab coats should not be worn outside of the laboratory so please remove them before leaving. And finally, do not take your lab coat home with you. Gloves must be worn when recommended by a safety data sheet or a hazard assessment. Appropriate disposable gloves are provided and must be worn when handling chemicals or samples. Ensure that the gloves are appropriate for the chemical that you're handling and change gloves when contaminated, glove integrity is compromised, or when otherwise necessary. You should remove gloves from the cuff, peeling the gloves forward over the hand to reduce contact with the exposed surface of the used glove. In phase one of the return to office process, kitchen areas are closed. However, the sink in the kitchen may be used, provided employees observe a one-person-at-a-time rule. The use of microwave ovens, toasters, refrigerators, coffee machines, dishwashers, and any other food storage or food preparation devices is prohibited at this time. If PPE is to be used in our workplace, a PPE program should be implemented. This program should address the hazards present, the selection, maintenance and use of PPE, the training of employees, and monitoring of the program to ensure its ongoing effectiveness. This process may contain hot liquid under pressure. Be sure to turn off and lock out the pump and Relieve all pressure before opening for service. Follow all lockout tagout requirements for this task. Please refer to procedure number HT32. One. 
Turn off the pump at the control panel. The hazards of this task include contact with electricity. You can control these hazards by following lockout procedure HT32. If you have any questions, please talk to your supervisor and have a safe day. Thanks so much for taking this brief tour with us. We hope you've learned something new about computer-based training and how we can help you with your training needs. Call or visit us soon. We'll be glad to help.